Okay, this is the rear shed only. Uh, there's no roof needed on the main roof. There is, however, on the shed. They have space board on this. Some of it's buckled, like you can see here. Up here, it's coming off the side. So what I need to do is if I can refasten this board and put plywood over it, I will. If I can't, then we're going to have to take off the board and do new plywood. But I'm hoping this space board here is good enough to nail plywood over because it's pretty thick. It's two by. So we'll find out. But anyway, I'll use uh, gray frost like the front, I mean the main house. And this is what we got here. So it's a new roof on the garage and new plywood. Okay, this is the front of the house. And uh, what we got is by the chimney. Behind it is uh, somebody caulked these spots and it's breaking loose and there's gouges in the shingles. So I want where these caulked areas are replaced. And right below that, same side of the house, is another missing shingle right here, right beside the dormer, left side facing the front. Everything else on this roof looks fine. It all looks good. Uh, there's some algae on the back, but uh, right now the owners aren't worried about the algae. But uh, the roof's still got a few more years left in it, a few more. All we gotta do is replace it. Got new gutter siding, everything else, so everything else seems to be good. It's a uh, gray frost, 25 year, and that's what I'm gonna put on the garage. You can see the garage is in bad shape, but that's the one they want the new roof on. Once again, facing the front, left hand side, behind the chimney, the caulked shingles, and right beside the dormer, the missing shingle.